I was really OCD when I was younger. I just loved bodybuilding. I, I, I wasn't competing, but I just knew that I had to do, I had to be doing what I was doing at that time. I didn't miss a meal for like 10 years. I ate every three hours, even when in my sleep. Shit, man, I've done the same thing day in, day out for so many years. That's the definition of patience. I was giving it 100%. So whatever the fuck you're doing, give 100%. No regrets, don't look back, go forward. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Hopefully you'll figure it out, learn and progress, but it's better than not doing anything and sitting on your ass. I learned that when your body gets tired, when you feel a burn, you still have more. and You still have another five reps left in you, you know? I didn't just wake up like, holy shit. I didn't just wake up jacked. I didn't wake up the way I look now. It took me 23 years. It's all a matter of how much you put in and how much it means to you. results you will get better when you really really want something you find ways if you don't have the mentality if you don't have the strong mind if you don't believe that's possible then you're not gonna you're not gonna get very far I just knew one thing, and that was that I had to do this. Whatever it was that I was doing, the eating, the training, the bodybuilding, I, I just knew I had to do it. If you ask me why, I couldn't tell you. It was just a feeling. I knew that I needed to be doing this. It felt right. And any time that I had a lapse in training or I missed meals, it didn't feel right. I didn't, I didn't feel good. So you always gotta pay attention to the way you're feeling. You can't force something. If you're doing something because you think it's the right thing to do but you don't feel good doing it and it doesn't feel right, doesn't sit right with you, it'll never work out. It won't last and you won't be successful.